there are quite a number of videos and tutorials online on how to press a laser diode into an axis module specifically how to press a 5.6 millimeter laser diode like this one into an axis laser module like this one but there aren't many tutorials on how to press a diode out of it without using any form of specialized tools so I've decided to make this video I've just uh, developed a method of doing this uh, with nothing more than an adjustable wrench and a screwdriver but take note that this technique is going to destroy the laser diode itself so although it will preserve the axis module itself um, so a new diode can be pressed in but this this technique will definitely destroy the, the existing diode that's already in it um, this wouldn't work if the diode was previously installed with um, heat uh, what do you call that? Uh, heat epoxy, uh, heat heat con conductive epoxy. Uh, so because that effectively bonds um, the diode into the module. So here's how I'm going to do it. I've got um, an adjustable wrench. This one's just a cheap one from Tesco. So it's just a tiny one, and. What I'm going to do is I'm going to widen the jaw to um, the width that will allow me to sit the, the axis module in like such. So so basically I'll do this on the side. So I'm going to refocus this part of the video. Okay, you want to get the width of the wrench to, oops, to such a width that it, it is smaller than the width of the barrel itself. Um, so obviously, with with that, it will be it will be um, able to hold on to the barrel itself where the grooves are. And then let me just refocus this. Once you've got the the width, the the whole assembly should be able to slide. Oops. It's a bit slippery. The, the whole assembly should be able to slide back and forth like that. So obviously you want to slide it all the way to the end, and then just lightly tighten. The wrench you don't want to apply too much pressure on the, the housing itself so now it's seated very nicely there and the wrench is supporting the, the assembly on the bottom of it like that so now all we need is to press the diode out while the wrench is on the table I've got this um, this is a square head um, hex bit so we can use any hex bit to push it out but preferably you know, use one with a small head like this a small flat head so um, it doesn't damage your hex bit itself and, and also the diameter of this head is smaller than the diameter of the laser module itself so it's not going to damage the axis um, housing once it's once it pushes the diode out so you want to rest the bit on to the laser diode like such and then just press it out it takes a lot of force so if you can't get it done with your bare hands just 
try tapping it with a soft object like the butt of this screwdriver which is plastic just like that there you go the diode is just dropped out and now the module is ready to house a new diode now pressing a new diode in is a bit of a, a job that requires high precision so although you can press it in um, by using a wrench and if you can you can adjust the, 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 the width to fit the, the rear end of the diode like that you should be able to press it in but I strongly discourage that because when you press a new diode in you want it seated centrally you want you want it recessed so it focuses properly and diodes are very very fragile um, highly sensitive equipment so it's better to just order a proper press diode press um, off the internet rather than trying to um, improvise with what you already have um, because it's just not worth risking an expensive laser diode by uh, pressing it in the wrong way. Okay, thanks for watching.